how you doing? d -Lo here on The Stuff of Legend, and I have some movie news for you. So, this is coming off of a Screen Rant article. I actually, I tend to get a lot of my news from Screen Rant, or from like Looper, or there's other sites that you go to. You always gotta make sure you're checking your sources, right? But there's, the, sometimes there's things that are public knowledge. It's something that's not like rumor or speculation. It's just something that is backed. And this is one of those things. So, everyone knows that Marvel's New Warriors is a show that is set to be coming out, it was supposed to be sometime here in 2018, but their spot on Freeform was taken up, and so they weren't going to be able to air this year on Freeform, so that's not an option for them. But because of the whole Roseanne debacle with her saying stuff, I, I honestly did not do research into that. There's enough bad news every day that comes with the news and all that stuff, so whatever your take is on that this is not a channel for any type of politics or whatever I'm just gonna leave all that out but nonetheless the Roseanne show was taken off the air off of ABC which means ABC has an open slot so ABC's open slot would allow for Marvel's new warriors to be able to come on board if they should accept that so Marvel's new warriors cast has been lobbying to get that spot pick it back up from where Roseanne was removed from. So let me read some of these things. So first, Milana Van Trubb, playing Squirrel Girl, she says the following. How about a show about a powerful computer scientist girl with one of the most diverse casts on TV? And they all just want to make the world a better place, question mark. Don't mean to make this about me, but the world needs this show. And then she tags this post. I think they're all doing this at the same time. So they're all kind of casting it out there to be mentioned. They want that slot, right? Because they got back burner. Their pilot has already been shot. Their pilot has already been completed. It's ready to go. It's ready to air. However, they've just been sitting around doing nothing because they don't have anywhere to air it. It's frustrating because Freeform was supposed to have a spot for them this year and they don't. They just allowed all their other spots to fill up. Marvel's New Warriors got back burner. What we're looking at is the actors trying to market themselves and their show out to the world so that hopefully ABC and Disney will pick them up in place of where Roseanne got removed so that they can get their show on the road. Because, I mean, they already filmed and finished the pilot. They've just been waiting around. Like, Milana and Matthew Moy, Jeremy Tardy, Derek Theller. I know that he did some work with Jason David Frank recently in Bat in the Sun on the Ninjak vs. the Valiant Universe. He was XO Man of War. That was actually a really good series and it was free to watch at comicbook.com. You should check that out. Next up, so that was Milana Vantra. I don't know how to say her last name. Forgive me if that's wrong. Matthew Moy, he says, ahem, ahem, Marvel's New Warriors is a perfect solution to the problem of the Roseanne vacant slot. And he tags Forbes and he posts the exact same thing, the same Forbes article that says Marvel's New Warriors is a perfect solution to the problem, left by Roseanne, blah, blah, blah. Because I guess the word, I did not look into it, but I believe she made a racist comment or a joke or something towards someone and everyone's freaking out about it. It's not nice to do that, right? It's not okay to do that. But the point of it is that her show's removed, slot's open. Hey, if the seat's open, sit in it. And that's what they're trying to do here. So then Jeremy Tardy comes on and he says, how about putting an African-American woman with telekinetic powers on? Highly trained African-American ninja? Team them up with Squirrel Girl, Mr. Immortal, Speedball, and Microbe? Seems like poetic justice. And so the whole thing was that for something to do with a racist comment, their show got removed. So a highly diverse crew of actors all collectively starring in this superhero TV show, which is a comedy which will be the first one that we've really gotten. It's like the first superhero comedy TV show from Marvel. Some of the other ones, they have humor, but this will be a straight up comedy. You know, it's gonna be, it's a legit comedy. It's gonna be a lot of fun to have that. I actually do hope that they take that spot on ABC because I really love this stuff. I really love superhero shows. I'm all about that. You guys know me. You're here on the channel because I'm into this stuff and I talk about it. And so I've been waiting for this for a long time because Squirrel Girl, I think is one of the most ridiculous notions of all time. I think the fact that they made her defeat Thanos in the comics is ridiculous. I think that her being the strongest superhero of all time because she has the power of squirrels and there's infinite number of squirrels on Earth and they haven't measured it or whatever the, whatever the reasoning is there, I think it's absolutely foolish. But I can't wait to see how they do it on TV and how they build that character with her flaws and her insecurity and all that stuff. I love Derek Deller. I want to see Derek Deller play Mr. Immortal, I think that that's going to be a lot of fun. And then all the other characters, of course, you know, like Speedball, Microbe, all that. I hope that they, they get that on board, because I want to see that. I was never a huge fan of 
any of those characters in the comics. I never read a single comic with any of them except Squirrel Girl. And I was like, eh, on the fence about Squirrel Girl. I didn't really care. But I would love to see it in a TV show. Watch it done as a comedy. Watch them all interact together. Watch the depressed nature of, of Mr. Immortal and all that stuff. And just watch Derek Deller bring that to life. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I just wanted to say, with ABC having an available spot, we just might be able to get the new Warriors this year. And that, I think, is something that would be really, really cool to have. Not that we need another one right now, because there's a flood of them on the market, right? If you look at, like, DC, Marvel, and all the extra TV shows that are out there that are not part of the mainstream, like, comic brands, you've got a lot of shows out right now it's almost hard to keep track of, but we don't have a lot of superhero comedy. And that would be something that would be a lot of fun and entertainment. And I think casual fans of superheroes who aren't super into it like us could just get on board because it's it's just like watching a comedy. It'd be like watching like Friends or it'd be like watching like Baby Daddy, you know, with Derek Theller or it'd be like watching any sitcom comedy or documentary comedy or whatever, you know, it, it'll be casual entertainment and I think that would be a lot of fun. You don't have to be heavily invested in the superheroes. It can just be fun. That I think is something that we could use a little bit more of. DC had some of that going on with the uh, Powerless TV show. And even though I'm not a big fan of Vanessa Hudgens, and I didn't really think that she was good as an actress, I think that it was fine because they had other talent on the show that balanced it out and it made her character and the way that she portrays that character feel so intentional. How overtly annoying that character was that she played, it plays into the group feel. And Alan Tudyk was like one of the funniest characters on that show. I got to recognize who he was. I think that he would be a sick blue beetle. Ted Cord Blue Beetle, if they were going to do a movie with him and Booster Gold as a comedy movie, I think that would be a lot of fun. Actually, shoot, now that I think about it, he might even do a decent Booster. But whatever, you know, like, I think that they should pick another person for a Booster. He should play Ted Cord. But either way, that's my thoughts on the new Warriors right there. Some articles from Screen Rant that were posting this. I just wanted to iterate my thoughts. I think, yeah, that's a great idea. Freeform's not doing it? Put them on ABC. They have an open slot. Let's make this happen this year. So thank you, guys. Let's have this discussion down in the comments. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.